This is way more entertaining than it should be. Hello everyone, I'm your host Aquaman, and welcome back to another episode of Okami. Today, we are going to climb up this wall. Why? Because we can, and because we got the power last episode, after a very long trek. My gosh. A am I going anywhere with this thing? No. Okay, I, I probably need to draw it up higher then. Alright. I will draw it up higher then. There we go. Please let that be enough. So today's plan, I don't know. We'll probably go back and look for that whirlpool somewhere, I guess. There we go. And what's in here? Slightly creepy. Random grave, because of course. And a whole bunch of items. Because of course. And then this thing. Lacquerware. Okay. So just random treasure spot. Burr. And that's it. Okay, well, I guess this is one of those parts where you get 100% completion and they ask, Oh cool, so you finally found that one spot. No I didn't! What's up there? Just a couple of worthless items, you don't really need it. But I want to say I completed the game! <laughs> anyway, today we are going to actually start off by doing something I said we'd do a few episodes ago, and based on my direction, you can already see what the plan is. Yeah, I want to come over here and try Bloom on this tree again, because whenever I came over the first time, I forgot. My bad. Get up there. No, get up there. Get up there. No! Ah, oh, dang it. Just a second. Okay. Stone thing. It's wiggling. And that is not what I intended to do. You know better. Come on. Uh. Do, do I cut it down? No. Um. Well then. What do I do with this thing? Ink bullet. I made something bloom up there. Uh. Yeah. I. I. I don't. I don't know. Big line. No. Um. This might get me in trouble, but. There is nothing left of it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to use the golden water that's over there to... That doesn't even make any sense. I honestly have no idea. Not off the top of my head, anyway. So, today's plan, I guess, since we kind of ran out of other things to do, we need to find that whirlpool. This guy over here has said that the whirlpool is out there, we just need to find it and watch out for the water dragon, which makes me think that the water dragon might actually be close by. It's hidden right now. You must find the whirlpool amid the sea. That is the ordeal. We already know that. Let's go find it. Okay, now as long as the camera stays good, I need to find a whirlpool. Problem is, I don't have any idea where to look. In all this ocean, I have no idea where to look. Like, is it... Close to the water dragon? Uh, please go away. Can't you give me any kind of hint? I mean, we're gonna explore the, like you said, vast sea. And there's supposedly a whirlpool out here somewhere. Now I understand, I'm not against the whole exploration bit, but... You're seriously going to give me no clues about it. Just... It's out there somewhere. You need to go find it. And that's it. The only island I think we came across that I tried to do something with was the, um... What was it? Hold on. Uh, there was a rock that we couldn't break with our powered up slash technique. It was one of those ore rocks even though we were able to break a similar one before that. I get that they aren't the same kind of rock, but even so. Hmm. I wonder if Oni Island is a bit of a clue about this. Can I swim out to it? It seems like I'm still making distance. And no. Alright. So... Is there no clue? about the Whirlpool's location. Anywhere. 
I was really hoping there could be something from somebody. They say, the whirlpool used to appear in this general vicinity. But nothing at all. No hints from anyone, not even the guy who's carrying us. He just said that we need to find the whirlpool before we can continue on with our quest. And that's it? Like that's really it? Well, um, gee, there's a thought. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, where's the water dragon? There he is. Okay. Let's try something out here, just because I'm a jerk. Alright, so, Isun, what can you steal from him? Okay, maybe not. Um, I'm not getting around him very well. So why would the whirlpool have disappeared? Are we supposed to get eaten by the water dragon? That would be terrible. Actually, I kind of wonder. I mean, I saved the game recently. Go ahead and eat me. What, what comes of this? Um, nothing. At all? Is there... Hold on. Uh... Okay, I can't get off him so I can get eaten. And he's not going to do anything to me anyway, so he's not a threat at all. But then... What's the point of being out here? There are no whirlpools to be seen. They say that they hid it away. And I haven't heard anything about whirlpool lore or anything like that to figure out where it could be. Are we supposed to jump up onto the cliff face from this side? Somewhere? Down here near the bottom? Will somebody up here have whirlpool information for me that I couldn't hear from anyone else otherwise? I honestly have no clue. Okay, this side has less of a lip. So, can I get up here now? No, I can't. Dang it. Is there a cat statue in this area that I could get? Let me ride up this cliff face easier? There's got to be something. They, they must have given me a hint. Surely they must have given me a hint. There it is. There it is. Now I can get up. Okay. Oh, gee, my knees. Straight up you go. And you cats have been fed, thank goodness. Okay. We got our cat technique. Someone up here will know where the whirlpool is. Or what's left of the people up here, or what's left of what's not left of the people will tell me. I just want to know how to get this thing. I'm all confused otherwise. They're saying, yeah, go up there and, uh, you know, do your own thing. You there! Talk to me! Or don't. We can... What the butt? It looks like a spooky Pokemon. Is that a flying and dark type or a flying ghost type? With flamethrower. Oh, maybe it's a poison type. So, poison and flying? Well, whatever the case. Come down here. That's a no. No. There we go. Burn yourself. Please, sir. Just... Okay, so you're a toughie. How about this, then? Uh, slight problem. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I'm supposed to knock those back at him. That makes sense. Yeah, that got him. Or, or not. Uh, maybe I have to use a, a particular technique depending on what he's doing. Okay, so attack me again. And with the flames, if I throw them back at you. Oh, that was supposed to be my opportunity. Oh, jeez. Yes, the mask has come off. Cut him now. Ooh, uh, how about I just make a little bomb down here? Make a bomb down here. Finish making the bomb down here. I have no idea what you're doing, but please go away. Um, yeah, take that. Just do it. Okay, I got a demon frame out of this thing. But seriously, no. Uh, can I still affect these? Sort of. Um, 
How about I just draw a bomb? I'll just do that. Here you go, sir. One bomb! There. I have no idea how I was supposed to fight that guy. Coins are raining down from the sky. I'm alive. That's the most important thing is I'm alive. Huh? Someone there? Kinda sorta. Talk to me. Tell me where the whirlpool is. This is Watcher's Cape. They said the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible from the Cape's tip. Whirlpool Galaxy? It's a group of stars. They form the shape of a great spiral, like a heavenly whirlpool. But since the demon-shaped island appeared out at sea, there are more and more monsters about, and the skies have dulled. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. Well, I have an idea about how to fix that. You can't see the stars in the middle of the day when the night falls. I got a wish to make. If you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the world of it. Okay. Yes, I scare you with my jump. Have you never seen a dog jump before? Clearly, you have never been to a dog show. Neither have I, but I've heard things. Okay, now it's night. Shooting stars are rare, not like before. If only a star would shoot across the night sky, I can make a wish upon it. If you wish upon a star, it always comes true, even though that thing is saying, why don't you stand next to me and help me look for shooting stars? Okay, sure. Here's a star, here's a star, here's a star, and here's a star. <laughs> That's actually... Yeah, sure. There! Three shooting stars! I've got to make my wish right now. I wish that the sky was as magnificent as it was in the past, and that the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible again. Okay, we can make wishes come true now. My wish did come true. Yay, funny praise. We've got a lot of praise now. I've been accumulating so much lately. Man, I could almost get an upgraded purse to the full thing. I normally wouldn't think to upgrade my purse by one more, but after the events of a previous episode, I kind of want to... I'll just go ahead and upgrade this thing. Because I want to be able to use the maximum fire burst technique. I'm assuming I have enough now for it. Assuming. I don't know. And there's creatures over here. Tigers! Sir, are you aware that you are on an island with tigers and that there is no other animal around here for them to feed on? This may have been one of the worst life choices that you will make. Alternatively, it is the first death choice you will make. I have chosen how I want to die. Tigers. Hungry, starving tigers. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is a rock I can cut. Is this true? This is not true. How dare you foil me? Okay, there's something around the little edge corner here. It seems like a place to hide a secret. Secret. No secret. Screw you two. Okay, so there's the Whirlpool Galaxy. Next. I want to go all the way out here. Because this will surely activate something. Maybe it's the last brush technique. Or maybe it, maybe the whirlpool was never in... Huh. Hmm. We'll see. Watcher's cape. When the whirlpool galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool shall open up below. Okay. We open it up. Check out that whirlpool. It's like a huge windmill in the night sky. They say the Whirlpool Galaxy is the key to the Dragon Palace of so Southern Whirlpool entrance should be somewhere in anything. Okay. Whoosh. The sea looks pretty calm to me. And the Whirlpool Galaxy isn't even swirling. What do we gotta do to make that Whirlpool entrance appear? Um Make make it swirl. Yay. I think you're onto something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that starry whirlpool round and round. Try it again. Keep using the wind power, sure, but this time it will be stronger. Maybe if we just do it like this? I mean, you know, whatever works. And suddenly whirlpool. My gosh, that is a whirlpool to death? Okay, it's about time we got on down to the Dragon Palace. Let's teach him a lesson. They're gonna pay for not keeping that water dragon on a leash. Is it really their fault, though? It's amazing, can't stop watching, okay. Well, that took more than a lot of effort to do. Also, why is... Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing lit up. 
Or not. Okay. Alright. Did you just... Yes, we, we've seen this before, Isun. Why did you want to come over here and read this? Get back here. Okay. Run down to Orca. Have him swim us over to the swirling swimming, swimming pool. English. Let's go see the Dragonians. Okay. Took us a lot of effort, a lot of running around to do, but we did it. Man, this whole area was honestly kind of cool. It's very colorful and pretty. Finally, we made it through that whirlpool. This must be the Dragon Palace in the Kingdom of the Dragonians. Our leader, Otohime, controls the water dragon. We'd better not let our guard down. Can they teach me how to swim? I'd really love to be able to swim. Also, these things are not staying closed. Thank you for the treasure! And you don't have to tell me what the item is, but you will anyway because you're a lot like Twilight Princess in that regard. Halt, you white beast. I don't want to. Uh, you're missing someone in the middle there. What business do you have in the Dragon Palace? You talking ass? Isun, there's nobody else around here. Who the balls else would they be referring to? The Dragonian Kingdom is no place for land dwellers. State your name. Who do you think you are talking to us like that? Besides, you're the ones who let that water dragon run amok. I'm Isun, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko. Ruler of Seian City. Now hurry up and go fetch your leader Otohime for me. Chop chop! I have no time for lowly servants. Himiko? Queen Himiko from Seian City? And that white beast must be... Hey, what are you two blabbing on about? You gonna go get Otohime or not? This way, O oh beast of white. Her royal highness will receive you in the throne room. You know, Yusin, if you keep your ego in check, this could go a lot faster. Just tell him that I'm Amaterasu and we're done. Like, seriously, that that's all that needs to happen. This guy has got a really big head. And really bad ears. Did you hear that, Emmy? Yes, Isun. Shut your friggin' mouth. Tell everyone you're really a bug. Man, I've been playing this game for a long time. Okay, we're in. Yeah, just as I was thinking before, this place reminds me a lot of Sasa Sanctuary. Except, dragons. Underwater dragons, but still. Is this the water dragon's garden? Water dragon lives there, but it has become violent. The dragon palace wouldn't stand a chance if the dragon was angered. So only our own people are permitted beyond this point. You must turn back. Okay, let's just head right on up and see the big wig. Has your journey tired you here, O oh esteemed guest of Hodohime? It's been decades since we had a land dwelling visitor here. And a lupine guest at that, I must say this is quite unusual. I wish I knew what Hodohime was thinking. Good, you know, ask her. Oh, it's you. Otohime invited you, right? But what on earth does she want with a wolf? At any rate, she's upstairs in the throne room right now. Okay. Let's see how large or beautiful this one is. Okay, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh my. I just got chills. Okay. What up? Welcome, both of you. Welcome to the Dragon Palace. You are in the kingdom of the Dragonians now. Yay, Dragonian Dilemma. I couldn't care less who or what you are. Isun? I swear I'm throwing you outside to the cat. All I'm interested in is that lady sitting on a rump over there. That's your leader, right? Well, we have some choice words for her. Yes, it is I, Otohime. Actually, I really like those fins, headdress, whatever it is on your head. I like that. Ruler of the Dragon Palace and leader of the Dragonians. I get my own title card and everything. Kind of showing off your cleavage there again. Uh, ah. Uh, ahem. Anyway, we wanted to ask you something. You know that water dragon that's been running amok lately? It's under your control, right? Well, why don't you keep that thing on a leash? And what's with you sending your emissary to come get us? Are you really that desperate? The Dragonians are prepared to do whatever is necessary. Amaterasu, things we've heard before. You know about Ami? The water dragon is our guardian, deity, and protector of the seas. 
It kept the peace by pacifying chaos wherever it reared its head. But that all changed just one month ago. Oh, not very far. Oni Island, the dark place of ancient legends, suddenly appeared. Evil beings swarmed into the sea and laid siege to the Dragon Palace. We mustered our forces to battle, but the enemy was too strong. Most of our realm fell into the hands of the forces of darkness. That could have gone better. Ah! It was then that the Water Dragon appeared. With overwhelming strength, it routed the enemy's forces, but the enemy's leader, the Dark Lord, had unimaginable powers. The Water Dragon nearly fell in the face of his onslaught. So grave were his wounds that he flew into an uncontrollable rage. So, he's just flying around because he's hurt. The dark forces then pulled back from the sea, leaving behind these chaotic water waters plagued by the rampaging dragon. So, the control of the water dragon... We never had control. It is our guardian deity. But its madness now endangers us as much as anyone else. And we're screwed. The water dragon is supposed to break the barrier on Oni Island. What hope do we have of attacking the enemy if it won't help us? Indeed, there is little hope left. It appears that all had is gone as the Dark Lord planned. Well, please keep talking. This is important. The Water Dragon is our guardian. It keeps the peace by pacifying chaos. No, we, we've already we've already seen this before. Skip ahead. We don't need to hear all that stuff again. Please. Shut up, Kapora Gibora. Can't break the barrier without the island. Himiko prayed so long and hard to locate the island. Now we can't even get on it. You're a god, ain't ya? Don't you have some secret weapon hidden up your sleeve? Please wait. It is true we cannot control the water dragon. However, there is still a way to harness its power. Okay. Then why didn't you just say so? Well, probably because you won't shut your mouth, bug. It is a deed of last resort and fraught with grave danger. Alas, it is beyond our power. That is why we summoned you, Amaterasu. You probably want us to go tie a leash around the dragon, right? We're not going to do anything crazy like that. It's not like we couldn't pull it off or anything, right? I mean, Orca would probably help us out, right? The seed of last resort is as follows. You must retrieve the dragon orb. I'll leave it alone. What's that? Why do you stop talking when we're trying to get information? We can just forget about the water dragon and go hunt for the dragon orb thing? Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, we're treasure hunting pros. We already know the location of the dragon orb. It lies in the... Well, there goes my weekend. You must enter the water dragon's body. Okay. The dragon orb is the essence of the water dragon's power. With it in my possession, I could easily break through the barrier that protects Sony Island. Will you not enter the water dragon through its gaping jaws and retrieve the dragon orb that lies deep in its belly? Okami, everybody! With that, I could break the barrier that protects Sony Island. <laughs> Wait just a second, lady. I will jump in front of you to startle your guards. Go get some orb from the water dragon's stomach? Are you nuts? It is the only way left to break the barrier on Oni Island. Will you not enter the water dragon and stuff? I say things we already okay. I make it a habit never say no, but if my boss is soon, man up. Yes, we're going to help out. The boss has spoken, and we're doing it, and I'm throwing you in first. Your compassion is truly as deep as the sea, and you are ever quick to decide. This amulet will allow you to enter the water dragon's garden. Yay! I got a conch shell. Water Dragon's Garden? That is correct. The Water Dragon makes its lair in a garden here at our palace. Okay. That thing lives here? It does, but it will not attack us as long as we leave it be. I doubt we would come out alive if we entered its lair. But I truly believe that Amaterasu can retrieve the Dragon Orb. I shall pray for your safe return. Yeah, we'll just leave it all up to the wolf who doesn't go underwater and can't swim. Look what the mess we're in now. Why are you always so eager to please? Well, you never say no to a pretty lady, so I just wanted to make you happy and have you live by your code. Please keep your mouth shut next time. Ah, forget it. Let's go get that barrier-breaking orb. The Water Dragon's Garden should be around here somewhere. Yeah, we kind of spoke to somebody earlier about it. Doi. 
First things first, though, I want to come up here, take a look in the room that would be up here inevitably. Oh, this is actually really pretty. Anything interesting? Like you people? The water dragon is in pain. Deep in his heart, there's some anguish. Even if there's hardly a trace of it left now, I believe the peaceful dragon's heart is still in there somewhere. And of course, I will jump in front of you, because why not? Water Dragon's mayhem has had repercussions. On behalf of all Dragonians, I apologize. God of the Sea, ever since that, changed all recognition. I'm looking for unique information. Does anybody have anything interesting to tell me? Eh, Harris Grow Heavier and all that other stuff. I'm getting the idea that nobody's going to have anything of particular note to tell me. Surely, though, someone in here will have a monster manifest. I didn't even consider that until now. So check enough of the rooms and eventually we'll find it. Maybe we're supposed to talk to like one of the draconian guards. And they'll say, hey, I can't leave my post, but if you wouldn't mind, go do this favor for me. Yeah, kind of funny how your pots just, you know, broke apart like that. Oh, Mrs. Turtle. Since when did they let dogs in the Dragon Palace? Still do not want to turn my nose up at a customer, even a dog. This is the palace's treasure vault, and I'm the vault keeper. But everything's got its price. Want to buy anything? Okay, sure. Okay, not much treasure in here. And there's nobody else in here that could possibly give me a monster manifest? Well, dagnabbit. With that then... Anything on this side that we would be interested in? Maybe, possibly? You got a shell amulet. You have the permission? Forgive my rudeness. Okay, so both places lead to the palace. Gardens. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting lots of girls lately? I mean, how long has it been since we ran into a guy? Uh, we had the merchant back on the shore. Have you not been paying attention? I only half hope they don't take advantage of me. <laughs> yeah, halfway. That's a very generous estimate you're doing there, Isun. Regardless, that is going to be it for today's episode. Oh, man. This one came out a little bit longer than I thought it would. Thanks, everyone, for joining me today, though. Come back next time, and we'll start going through this next dungeon of a sort. I guess technically we have already started, but you get what I mean. Anyway, see you next time, everyone. Take care. Spring forth, spring. Spring forth, spring. Want to dance? And she's not going to say anything different. Are you going to say anything different? Boy, I'm glad she faded out. This would be a very awkward view. <laughs>